gonna be easy to find hmm. but I just can't find peace anywhere so where have you been looking well first I started with my dictionary you did yeah and the dictionary said that peace was freedom from disturbance hmm. or or a state in which there is no war or a war has ended well, I thought, oh boy, this is not going to be an easy word at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, just listen to five minutes of the news at night, Dee. I know. Yeah, so, so then I looked for how to say peace in other languages. You did? Yeah. Shalom or paz. <laughs> but, but most of the words I couldn't pronounce. And then, Dee, Dee, I found this symbol. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that my mom helped me put on my shirt. It looks great. Yeah, I thought it was kind of cool. <laughs> Grandpa said it was from the 60s. Mm. Oh, oh, and, and I was listening to the song Peace Train. <laughs> so I'm wondering, how is all that working for you? Well, actually, Dee... <laughs> Yeah, I'm feeling kind of silly. Silly? Yeah. And, and can I tell you something? The past few days, I've been really jumpy and worrying about all kinds of things. What are you worried about? Well, Dee, I'm worried about signing up for baseball this year. I'm worried about making a bad play or getting hurt running the bases or a bad pitch. And D, I'm worried about the big math test on Friday. I'm worried about staying back. And and, and, and I'm worrying that I'm going to say something silly at school and nobody will talk to me. Aww. And I'm worried about being the last one picked for kickball. Wow, Andy. That is an awful lot of worrying. Yeah. Right, Dee. Mm -hmm. Like, there's been no peace for me so much for this year's Star Word. Well, I'm wondering if maybe peace was the perfect Star Word for you. What? <laughs> oh, I don't know, Dee. I guess I have to look somewhere else beside the dictionary, the encyclopedia, and Grandpa's memory of the 60s, right? Good idea, Andy, but um, where can you look? Hmm, let's mm. see. Mm. Ooh, my growing in God's love story Bible. Wow. Yeah. Let's try it. Let's see. Um, oh, look. Look, I found a story called A Blessing Map that is based on the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 1 to 12. That sounds perfect, Dee. Okay. You know, my dad has been teaching me how to read a map. And he says, he, he says, I could put our GPS out of a job. <laughs> well, I will take you and a map over my GPS any day. But let's give this a try, okay? Okay. When you go on a trip, you look at a map to find the best road to follow. Here's a story about how Jesus gave his disciples a map. For how they were to live. 
Jesus had been teaching and healing people. He invited 12 people to be his disciples. He told them important things to remember, a kind of map for disciples. They are called the Beatitudes, a word that means blessings. Here, they are written as if Jesus were talking to you as one of his disciples. Oh, okay. You are blessed when you take time to talk with God, to say thank you, or help me, or please remember, or I am sorry. You are following me when you see something wrong or someone being treated badly and you do something to help. When you see a person or an animal who is lost or homeless without friends and you and your family help out, you are blessed. When you are hungry for everyone to have enough food to eat, and you know that some children need clean water to drink and you save your money to help, you are blessed. When you see a classmate sitting alone and you join her, you are following me. When your heart is open to love others, then you will know what God looks like. When you are a peacemaker, helping people learn how to listen to one another and not fight. You are living like God's child. When you say things that aren't good and you work to make them better, you are on the right road. When you try and do these things, you will be blessed and happy. Yeah. Let's pray. God, please bless us with understanding of these words. Amen. Amen. Hey, Dee. Dee, I'm wondering if instead of looking for my star word, mm -hmm. maybe I have to be my star word. What do you mean, Andy? Well, Dee, I'm thinking, I can find peace by following what Jesus says. Uh -huh. so, so maybe I need to ask God to help me find peace and, and quit thinking about all the stuff that can go wrong. Uh -huh. If we can love other people enough to listen to what they have to say, Maybe, maybe we could find the things we have in common. D, and then we can celebrate our differences instead wow. of spending all our energy trying to make people be like we want them to be. Wow. And, and maybe, D, instead of worrying about what could go wrong, we need to work harder to help things go right. Wow, Andy. Some really great thinking there. Yeah. You know, Jesus told us in John 14, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. I do not give it to you as the world does. So don't let your hearts be troubled. Don't be afraid. Amen, Dee. Amen. Thanks, thanks, Dee. Thanks, Andy. Hey, Dee, Dee, you want to come to my house? <laughs> yeah, yeah, tonight we're gonna tie-dye some old shirts. You are? Yeah, and Grandpa's gonna play some old 60s music. I love 60s music. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, sing with me, Dee. Okay. Come on, people now. Yeah. Smile Love on your brother. brother. Everybody get together. Get Try to love one another right now. Hey, Andy. Yeah. Peace out. Peace out, D.